Hey, so today we're going to be doing a do-it-yourself project. We're going to be drilling a hole into a wine bottle. Uh, and the finished product is going to look something like this. And we can use this for making um, accent lights. You can put Christmas lights in it. Um, do all sorts of cool things with this. Uh, so first thing you want to do is put the uh, wine bottle into uh, a clamp of some sorts, like a, a vice clamp or whatever. You may want to make sure it's not too tight. Just tight enough so uh, the bottle won't move when you're drilling into it. Uh, second, you're going to take a piece of modeling clay and that's going to act as a reservoir uh, to hold water in while you're drilling. Uh, so that way the drill bit doesn't overheat and then you don't have to worry about all these uh, glass shards flying everywhere while you're doing it. Um, this can be a little dangerous so that's why uh, you're going to want to wear gloves while you do it and have eye protection. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stick some water in this little reservoir. Um, room temperature water is good, uh, not too hot, not too cold, you don't want to shock the bottle. And you're going to drill in at a 45 degree angle to begin your uh, bit. And this is a, a diamond, uh, uh, a diamond uh, drill bit here from Home Depot, it's about $20. So you start at the 45 degree angle and then you're, as it sinks in and starts to bite, then that's when you're going to slowly tilt it up there. And then uh, at full speed, you're going to want uh, to start drilling straight down like that. So we'll start at the 45 degree angle at, at about half speed. Okay, so while you're drilling, um, you want to make sure you're not putting any pressure down on the glass at all. Um, you want to actually have about less than the weight of the drill on itself, so you're actually going to be lifting up on it. So it's very little pressure on it. That's the easiest way to break it. Um, as you can see in here, you're going to be breaking a few bottles uh, when you get started on this. Um, you also want to take little breaks like this. This is good to uh, cool down the uh, drill bit because it gets extremely hot and the heat will actually shatter uh, the glass for you. Um, and you want to make sure to put more water in the reservoir, even if it's full, because that's also going to cool down the water that's in the reservoir. And then you, you can uh, find your spot again and then start uh, going at it. Now we're going to see some water start filling in the wine bottle here. And that means I've broken through and that's when you want to take another break when that happens.
so we're really close to going through. Um, this can take anywhere from a minute to maybe five minutes, uh, depending on the thickness of the bottle. So I'm going to cool it down because the last thing I want to do is have uh, it to shatter after doing all this work on it. But uh, we're really close to the end here. And uh, actually, yeah, that was the end right there. So you can start seeing uh, the cut we made. And we can loosen this up. And take off the gloves. Remove the modeling clay. And you can see there, we just got a, a perfect hole just cut right in there. Um, so you can take a Dremel with a, a sanding bit at the end and make sure you wear a face mask for that. And you can actually sand out that um, the end there or just like a, a piece of uh, sandpaper maybe on a rat towel file or something to kind of sand that up in there. And uh, you'll have a perfectly drilled hole into a wine bottle. Thank you.